Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out the Anacrylics acrylic powders. So you guys know I'm a poly gel girl, but I had to try these because it has such great reviews and I love supporting small businesses. So I bought a couple of things that I'm going to show you. So in the package, you get a thank you card. And I only bought two acrylic powders because I don't use acrylic that much. I bought a gel top coat as well as a mini curing flashlight. These containers are huge. This first color is Latte, a nice nude. And the second color is Cinderella from her Princess collection. And you can barely tell when I open up the little lid, but it's a beautiful blue color. So I'm going to be using my The Attitude Shop tips. And for prep today, all I'm doing is pushing my cuticles back, putting on my tips and using peel off base coat because I'm only keeping these nails on for about a day. I was going for a long coffin style, so once I glued the tips on, I just cut down some of the length and I did the rest of the other nails off camera. So now we're going to get into swatching. I'm using this Mia Secret Liquid Monomer. This was my first time using it today, and I definitely like this liquid monomer better than the one that I tried in my last acrylic video. So we're going to go ahead and swatch these. The colors were beautiful. They were super buttery to use at this point, and I was just kind of practicing my liquid to powder ratio. Here's what they look like, they're gorgeous. It's time to get into the nails. For this set, I'm doing an ombre on three of the nails. One of the nails is just going to be fully covered in nude and the other one is going to have encapsulated glitter. Starting off with my pointer finger, this is going to have an ombre. So I'm starting off with that blue, putting it on the tip. I'm going to try to form it into that coffin shape and then also blend it down into my natural nail. I'm doing the exact same thing on the other. So in the beginning, as I was picking up my beads of acrylic, I noticed that they were a little on the drier side and her acrylic already is on the drier side, but I know it's because of my liquid to powder ratio. So I would let it sit on my nail for a couple of seconds to let the monomer soak all the way through the product. Then I would use it to spread it around the nail. And I thought that it was really easy to use. Once I got my liquid to powder ratio better and more consistent, it was so easy to use. They are so buttery. And that's coming from someone who does not work with acrylic just about ever. So I noticed that it was really easy to just move the product around the nail. The application was so smooth and I feel like it helped me do way better than I did the last time I did acrylic. I know I had a couple of you cringing in my last acrylic video and I feel like this one's a little bit better. So we're going ahead and moving into the middle finger now and I did my tip B. Now we're doing the cuticle bead where we also work on the apex. So I was pretty nervous for this just because I didn't want to get my cuticle messy and I didn't want to have too thin of an apex. So I just tried my best. I slowly brought product down to my cuticle with my brush and I feel like that was helpful. When I got done that bead, I realized there is a dip right where I want my apex to be. So I just applied a third bead and I covered up that area and I'm just blending it up into the tip bead and down into the cuticle bead. And this is what it looks like. It's looking pretty good. Here's how it looks from the side. And now to do the actual ombre with the rest of them. So I was also nervous for this part, but I ended up managing to do it. So I got a very small bead and put it where I want my ombre to be. I moved it from side to side. And then I spread that top section of the bead up into the blue and it worked out pretty well. I just kind of feathered it up and it faded really nicely. 
before I do the ombre though, I try to make sure there's an even line of product. That's why I bring it from sidewall to sidewall. So I have an even blend from left to right. After I did that, I went around the cuticle. It's not perfect, but I knew I would fix it up with the filing process. So right now we're just gonna go ahead and fill in any holes. My favorite thing about these powders is how beginner friendly they are because you have so much time to work with them before they fully dry and harden. And we're gonna do the exact same thing to the pointer finger and this one's a little smoother to watch. So I move the bead from sidewall to sidewall, blend that top area and then bring down as much product as I can. And then with another bead, I'm going to lay it on there. As you can see, my liquid to powder ratio is much better. They look way more creamier after I release it from the brush. So you can see that I was getting the hang of it at this point. And I just skipped right over my thumb because you guys saw me do it twice. The hard part's done. We're gonna go ahead and move into just encapsulating. So with this Ella Nailed It Chameleon glitter, it's so gorgeous, it has a really nice blue tint. I'm just putting it into some wet base gel, carrying that in my lamp, and then I'm going to encapsulate it with clear. I didn't get any clear from her website, so I'm just using this Model 1's clear that I have in my collection. I'm pretty much just doing the exact same process you saw me do on my middle finger. So that's why I skipped over it a lot. I also encapsulated the ombre nails because they were pretty thin. So I just used that to cover up the ombre and to create an apex. So moving into filing, I'm going to use a hand file to reshape all these nails. Something I've noticed about poly gel and acrylic is that poly gel is way easier to file. I was having to use so much pressure on my hand file to get the shape that I wanted. So I thought that was worth mentioning. With my Kiara Sky safety drill bit, I'm just going to go around the cuticle first to seal that in. Then I'm using up and down motions to debulk the nail, and then I'm going to use side to side motions to smooth out the nail from the up and down motions. Here's what it's looking like. Of course, the filing process saved the day again, like it did in my last acrylic video. So I did the same to the other nails and I'm just going to use a buffer sponge to buff out all of the scratches. I'm using some alcohol to clean up the nails. And now the only extra designing that I did was use these little gold decals from the Attitude Shop and I'm using some McCart rhinestone gel it's just nail art gel i applied a layer of that and then i applied a little bit of top coat i put the gold decal into the wet gel and i love the triangles and the rhinestones on it it's so beautiful now we're just going to go ahead and top coat the rest of them and watch them come to life Let's cuticle oil these up, revive my nails, and then I will model them for you. Spoiler alert, I absolutely love the way they turned out. They're so gorgeous. If, if I could have done this on my right hand, I definitely would have. But these acrylics were really great quality. Here I'm just showing you from the side the apex that I was able to create. The filing process really helped me out with that. But these products are so high quality. I really, really enjoyed using them. That's coming from someone who has barely any experience with acrylic. So if you were hesitant about getting any of these, I highly recommend. They're so worth it and you get so much. So that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.